Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this episode, I have some VW goodness for you. And uh, I know I think I've done a video on this maybe a few years ago in regards to sheet metal parts when it comes to restoring your beetle. Now, let me show you over here for a second a car they're working on for a client. And we media blasted this car, but if you take a close look, oh my lord. You start to see a lot of this stuff, like, you know, maybe done a bunch of years ago in somebody's backyard, uh, whatever kind of welding they did. Um, you see this stuff, or you see rot, a lot of rot. Uh, you see some shabby welding, you know, things like that. And when we're doing a restoration, especially here at Classic VW Bugs, you know, we can't show this kind of stuff. We cannot do this kind of work. And we want the right materials. Uh, we're not going to use a lot of plastic uh, to fill these spots in, which is what a lot of people did back then. And look, you know, these were cars that were not of much value back then. And, uh, you know, everyone was pretty much on a tight budget with them. They were economical cars. So why throw a lot of money into something that's not going to bring you a big return at the time? Now that these are collectible, you know, things have changed. Uh, so, I mean, you take a look at this apron here. I'll lift up the deck lid for you and you see how ripply that is. So, you know, in the past, it's been difficult to get, say, a period correct apron like this. This is the uh, classic H apron for the rear. And, uh, you know, a lot of aftermarket sheet metal parts just don't look like that. Uh, they're very generic. They're not year specific. And so you were forced to be creative with the sheet metal to try to make things work and uh, yada yada. But now in today's day and thank god for the internet this information is out there especially with you know a lot of the groups online with facebook and such that now we have the resources and the um i guess the materials that they are making these now period correct spot on pieces for your vintage vw they're not you know wide range of years i mean they they these guys this is wolf parts they're out of Finland, and these pieces are targeted towards specific years now. Now, this is basically anything. These are 50s Beetle uh, pieces uh, that we have here. For We got for a 1958 Beetle. We're working on a car for a guy named Landon. This is grandfather's car that they bought back in uh, 1958, so it's definitely a personal car to him, and it's definitely a family car. And uh, I'll show you some pictures here of Landon's car. And you see after we media blasted it, you know, the car does need some work. Uh, the car needs a lot of metal work. It's going to need heater channels. And we got the heater channels from Classic Fab, the green stuff. Well, thank you, Gerson. And um, we got other sheet metal parts from, like I said, Wolf's Parts and also RestorationPanels.com. If you guys check these out, I'll have links in the description below this video. This is the kind of work that we are getting now, and this is all correct. Any sort of aftermarket or clocker home uh, piece of sheet metal, uh, you would not have these characteristics that were specific to these years or to your, or to your year bug. Uh, so, I mean, they have this wire holders here. This, this is common in the 50s. The oval window beetles up to 58, 59 beetles. You know, so they're making these pieces... I mean, even short window periods, like three to four year pieces that they're making that had these certain characteristics. Um, you know, back in the day, people didn't worry about that too much because why? It was a beetle. But today, uh, now that we are collecting these things and we want things to be correct and vintage, um, the quality of these welds, the craftsmanship here is spectacular, guys. The, the stampings are just phenomenal. So definitely want to check out Wolf Parts. And then you have, like I said, restorationpanels.com and classicfab.com. Classic with a K. With a K. And uh, that's the green stuff. And they're doing great heater channels and floor pans for your early Beetles. Uh, this is a front apron for a 58 Beetle. I think it would also work for your oval window beetles just make sure when you buy your aprons guys whether it's front or rear you also have to get the seal channel here that has to get welded so your body shop uh, will need this to weld in uh, on this metal here so i mean this metal is excellent i mean it's practically ready to be welded now uh, that's how nice it is 
so I mean uh, check out check out the quality here I mean the stampings everything looks really nice now CIP1.com is selling uh, similar sheet metal parts now like this um, AutoCraft uh, is now on their site and you can get uh, some material like this but not all uh, so if you're in uh, the United States uh, you do have access to to some of these but again you know thanks to the internet the shipping was not terrible uh, with shipping these from from Europe and uh, you know it was actually in a timely fashion uh, so very very happy with uh, the shipping time and the quality of this material so and these are this is the rear bumper bracket uh, bumper areas that go on the uh, alongside the the rear apron a lot of times these are rotted you know this is for the bumper brackets to, to mount to uh, for your beetle I mean just just phenomenal quality guys take a look at that really nice now you know in the past uh, there was stuff we bought from JC Whitney or the clocker hole material and stuff again not bad material some of it was kind of flimsy some of it was kind of some of it was good but the problem was with those materials and with those pieces of sheet metal was that they just don't want to fit right so there was finagling that your body shop has to do so yes they might be cheaper to get okay and you might not want to be so year specific maybe you you can do some body work to save yourself some money but understand it might cost more to get this material and get this quality of work and sheet metal but it's going to cost you more for the body shop to work the material to make it fit right so why not get a piece that's pretty much almost cut out well done without much finagling and that'll save you time time in the end is money guys so um you know i've believe me i've gone through this before uh where my body shop is calling me up and saying you got to get me a new piece uh, i don't like this it's not fitting right i gotta they gotta make patches they gotta make sections to make it work and you know a lot of different uh, scenarios can pop up so but just some great great material that these guys are doing wolfparts.com guys uh, check them out um, yes the shipping can sometimes might might be a little pricey and I'm going to show you a piece of metal now that they now offer which is absolutely phenomenal uh, something that we didn't even have a few years ago that you had to do a lot of modification to to make it work but I'm going to show you that in one second here you go front full quarter panels for early beetle and just up until a few years ago you could really only get these for 68 and later beetles and they all had you know the gas tank door in this section you can make it work to some year beetles maybe you know 65 and up uh, you can make it work you can weld over the gas door and uh, and kind of make it work but now this is a front quarter that we bought for a 1958 beetle and they have all the characteristics that are correct to make this right even down to the holes here for the conduit tubes which would be these these J tubes that bolt into here and then this welds into the bottom of the headlight bucket on your fender so uh, this was very this is much sought after on the early beetles to have these in place and now you have the stampings already there which is phenomenal they never really used to have that you'd have to make it and even the contours and the shape of the general aftermarket sheet metal that you used to buy did not have all this correct so things just never really fit right but now we have it and what's amazing is, is if you go to wolfparts.com they'll even have the front quarter panels for early split window beetle that have the crotch coolers down in this section just phenomenal uh you know just up until a few years ago uh gosh i had a crotch cooler here and we were saying to ourselves if we ever came across a car like this how would we fix you know the front quarters if we had damage uh because you know the older they get the more they're going to need this kind of work and uh gosh what would i have to do find a donor car and cut that split window up i mean nobody wants to do that anymore because now you're you know, it's just it's kind of you're, you're you're sacrificing a car so boom it's there the qualities i mean look at the look at the shape it's just phenomenal stuff guys so 
I can't praise them enough. Um, thank God this is out there, and I think as time goes on and technology gets even better when it comes to even 3D printing and things like that, I think we are really in good hands here when it comes to bringing back our vintage babies and bringing them back on the road, our uh, V-dubs. Uh, this, is, this is really, really nice. So, uh, I mean, just until a few years ago, you could not get this stuff. So, um, very, very good. But, all right, guys, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, just just great great craftsmanship here and uh, can't wait to put this on Landon's 1958 Beetle family car and the car is going to feel right at home when it's all done so uh, uh, very I can't wait to jump in on it so all right guys Chris from classicvwbugs.com please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, you know this all helps the channel this helps get the word out there and for the price of a cup of coffee you can send us a small PayPal donation uh, there's a PayPal donation link in the description below. Helps, helps us keep this content going and keeps things moving along and bringing you these tips and tricks and, and giving you reviews of some of the products that are out there now for your vintage VW. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.